in Milwaukee's history that passed by unnoticed. In 1990, the Scott sisters' deaths was a day that stopped everyone. And it's just one of the most egregious, horrific crime scenes I've ever had to work on or to view. The lady who lives at the house here uh, came home and found two of her children with their throats slashed. 11-year-old Monica and 7-year-old Latrice Scott were inseparable in life. Love them. Loved by everybody around here. And in death. Karen Scott ran into the street screaming for help. There is no one that left that crime scene not covered in blood. Every detail into Milwaukee police revisited decades later by retired cold case detective Catherine Spano. There are people out there that know exactly what happened to the Scott girls. November 3rd, 1990. Monica and Latrice's mom, Karen, was going out with her living boyfriend, a girlfriend, and that woman's boyfriend. Witnesses said that man had gotten into an argument with 11-year-old Monica at the house. The initial plan uh, was just to go up to the tavern and have some drinks. Leaving the girls behind, all four drove to what was then Club DeVille. Both men, though, left separately and before the women. Sometime around midnight, while their mother was out of the house, someone ended their lives. Monica, with knife wounds to her hands, nude from the waist down, with signs of sexual assault and a struggle. We believe that Monica was the target initially and was chased into that pantry area where she was later found. Police say the lies about that night began with their own mother. She told the police that she uh, had gone out with some friends and that she left the children with her, her boyfriend. The mother's boyfriend was arrested later that night and held in jail for more than a year. He indicated to detectives that um, he didn't remember uh, hurting the girls, um, but if police were saying he did it, or other people were saying he did it, then he must have done it. Until their mother admitted she lied and he was released. Well, I think the case really went went very cold at the time. Cold until a tip came in. Remember the other man who left the tavern that night, the one who got into a fight with Monica beforehand? Well, the investigation turned to him in the interrogation room. He first told police he didn't know the girls and then changed his story about what happened before the group left for the tavern. He first explained that he had come into the home, had cut himself, so is now kind of incorporating his blood into this crime scene. An investigation picked up by current cold case detectives who believe that story was a lie too. That was potentially a manufactured fact that the suspect came up with during the interview to fit the facts of the case or what he believed were the facts of the case. While the man hasn't been charged, they believe he had the opportunity and a record of similar behavior. Two in particular could draw almost immediate parallels to this case. A case built around two young girls who lost their lives. There are people that are out there that know who committed this offense. Hope the time will write a final headline revealing their killer. Detectives believe DNA advancements will help them solve this case. And you know what else will? Hearing from you. If you know anything about the Scott girls murders, we have a link to the cold case team. Just come to fox6now.com.